Hi guys, welcome to How to Trick a Fish, where today I'm going to talk about my top five soft plastics for fishing on jig heads. I'm going to jump straight in with the Keytech Easy Shiner. This is my favourite paddle tail for bass. I use these all the time for school bass. If I'm struggling to find something in a competition, I need to find myself a bass. This would be what I'd stick on. Little three gram jig head, bounce it around the bottom, especially around Plymouth, etc. Really, really good. A little close up. Got a really, really good paddle tail. They come in a bunch of different colors and sizes, but the two inch is the perfect size for LRF for me. Moving on, I've got the Eco Gear Power Worm. I don't actually have them in a packet, so they come in these pocket ends. I've just about three or four pocket in packets over there. But the Power Worm is very, very similar to the Eco Gear Aqua Shirazu. It's got the very little, little ball tail, as you can see. Um, ball tails don't last very long, they do get a bit off, but the worm works just as fine without it afterwards. Really, really great lure, dart around. Loads of action, loads of vibration. Another Eco Gear Lure, we've got the Grass Minnow SS and S. They're two different sizes. Really, really good again. Nice little paddle tail. I really, really like these for Pollock, but especially uh, for cold fish, um, which was a surprise to me because I, everyone sort of said to fish them for metal. So during the Winter League uh, last year or this year, just gone, um, I really, really struggled to find my cold fish. Owen actually switched over and used a paddle tail and got himself a cold fish in front of me, which wound me up no, no end. So I switched over and did exactly the same thing with. The Eco Gear Grass Minnow S uh, worked perfect. First cast of one of these, I actually managed to pick out a cold fish when I wasn't managing to get them with anything else. Next lure I'm going to show you is from a small company called 97 Tungsten and uh, 97tungsten.co.uk. If you haven't tried them, nice to support the small guys. They've got a lure, I've got two lures in this bag, but the one I'm going to talk about is the fat ass really really like the durability of these loads of stretch uh, you can get hundreds of a fish out of a single lure well worth trying out i use these on a small jig head let them fall and then the tail goes a bit mad a little similar to the shirazu except it's not a ball tail so more of a dark tail but it goes like mad and they're really really good for sort of agi scad obviously mackerel herring small school bass pollock really really good let's try moving on is that all on? oh sorry on to my favorite lure number five and i'm going to cheat again i've got the I've got two different types of the Rapture Mabaru worms. Um, I'll show you them close up, but I've got the Aji type and I've also got the Shirazu type. The Aji has got one downside. It's got a very small join there by the tail that you can see, and quite often the tails get ripped off. They do work just as well without the tail, but that little flutter obviously does give a lot of attraction. But once that tail's gone, you can still fish them. It's just a shorter lure. Really good on a small jig head, fish on the drop. Um, a little tip for these as well is when you're really, really struggling to find yourself a sand smelt, if you find yourself somewhere at night fishing under a light, fish this on a very slight jig head, 0.5, just along the surface, nice and slowly, you'll get the bites and the sand smelt, absolutely love them. The other type, very, very similarly, except it's got a ribbed body, I'll try and show you the ribs, there we go. Um, the tail doesn't come off as easy on these, so they might last a bit longer, but they're a little bit wider and fatter, so more, probably not as good for the sand smelt, but I have had a load of fish on these, Pollock, Scad, Mackerel, etc. Uh, I'm going to give an honorary member to one that didn't make the top five, just because I absolutely love these lures. I think they're still available from AGM Fishing. I haven't actually sport any for a long time, because these have lasted ages. I've got the little pink um, crazy fish what are they called nano minnows yeah crazy fish nano minnows and they've got sort of little eyes on the head which are quite cool you probably can't see them there can we but little eyes um just a really really nice paddle tail i used to use these on the canals for perch all the time i've done quite well with them for pollock as well well there's a nice quick video i've rattled through it as quickly as i can um they're mainly the um soft plastics i use for jig heads like i said i mainly fish on the drop with my jig heads but i do bounce them around the bottom a little bit but um it's mainly an on the drop method that i fish especially down in plymouth um, around Mount mutton cove at night i think a lot of people know the mark a uh, really good place under the lights Fishing these lures on the drop, you pick up loads of different species. Really, really good for school bass, mackerel, scad, herring. And like I said, you can also get yourself your sand smelt that way as well. Guys, thanks very much for watching. I'd love to hear what your top five are, so stick them in the comments below. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, I'd really appreciate it if you can. Thanks very much. Cheers all. I'm out.